Well, everyone, welcome back to Charlie's Clay Box. Today's project, got the uh, Triumph accessory, the bike foot stand. Figured I'd get that instead of the other aftermarket ones just for the Triumph name, you know, drink the Kool-Aid. And also pivot pegs. These are 100 millimeter long, so they'll stick out a little further, and they're definitely a lot wider than the factory ones, so let's get that installed today. All right, pull these off on the back bottom side of the pin here. It's got an E-clip, so just using a small screwdriver, flat blade. There's the E-clip. Sit that down there. And then pull out the pin. And there's the peg and spring. The stock spring goes up in a hole up here. Now the pivot peg, if you can see that there, you can see how much further it's going to come out than the stock one. Let's get a little wider stance if you need, and definitely a lot wider. So, let's see what size these holes are. Get a punch just to help line it up. And hold things in place. Okay, pivot peg comes with its own spring. Also comes with a couple different cotter keys if your system uses that, but it's not used on this bike. We just reused the E-clip because that's the style pin we have. in there try to push down and get that pin started get that started there we go the pins through it through the rest of the way. There we go. And just use the blade or your screwdriver just to push it on. Not as easy as said. There we go. All right, see how those pivot. And approximately where the stock one would be. Quite a bit of a difference. All right, now we just gotta do the other side. Okay, now on the left side, it's a little different. We have to take off the uh, shift lever to get room for the pin. Pretty sure we do. And the factory has a dimple. The way these came, this bike came up, lined up from the factory, the dimple, the dot was right in line with the crack. I adjusted my lever up one spline so the dots just above the split there but so i'm gonna to have to remove that unless let me with that lever up a bit let me see if i have enough clearance first okay first thing i want to do again is take off the clip from the back using the small tiny flat blade screwdriver 
Now let's see if we have clearance for the pin to come out with my lever in the upper position. Not quite, not quite. So definitely have to take the gear shift lever off. It's a eight millimeter. If possible, always use the box end. Less chance of slipping than an open end and rounding off the corners of the nut or bolt. So now that's loosened, I could use the open end and just get her out. Okay, you need to take the bolt out completely to slide the lever off. Because when this goes through, you've got a groove in there where the bolt goes through and that keeps your lever from sliding off as long as the bolt's there. Now, go ahead and remove this pin. And see the orientation of the sprig for the factory foot peg, it's in the middle. That's how it fits in that hole there. But the pivot peg fits differently. The spring's on the back side. We don't have the open in the middle, so it sits on the back. All right. And that's the fun part. Get this. Stop that there. And push down and in. And we'll try to align things. Okay, that's in line there. Okay. Now just, just gently tap it in and keep it aligned. Go. I'll get the E-clip back in position. Push it on with a screwdriver. And it's seated. Now, I gotta line this back up again. Let's see where I'm at. I think maybe one more spline. get back where I was just snug that up don't crank her down too tight a little bit of block tight blue lock tight and just snug all done in position pivot peg works yeah nice improvement and if you want they sell pivot pegs they sell uh Accessory cap that goes over on this if you want to protect your shoes for street riding to dampen out vibrations But I'm not putting those on I like to feel a Regular good teeth on my boots that my boots aren't moving around All right Next thing to install is this triumph side stand base extension or wide foot, big foot, whatever you want to call it. Comes with the two pieces, plus uh, three Allen screws that are three millimeter. And nice things, they're already have locked blue Loctite on it from Triumph. So this is kind of gonna snap into place to come up. 
that's up all the way and that's just going to slide on top you've got a couple pads on there so all I'm going to do is get the screws started and get everything aligned So we'll always start them by hand that way you know you're not cross threaded Bigfoot on my GSA is a blessing. Any of the places we stopped, sometimes even just out front here on my grass, depending where I set the bike. Snug that up. Snug that up. Don't need to crank them. Snug that up. There we go. Nice and quick modification. Thanks for watching.